we state categorically that the results of the presidential election held in August 9, 2022, declared and announced by Mr. Wafula Chebukati on August 15, 2022, belonged to himself and do not represent the declaration and announcement by Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. The Commission has to process the results before they are declared and announced by the chairperson. For the avoidance of doubt, let me quote the Maina Kiai case. It says, we reiterate as we conclude that there is no doubt from the architect of the law, we have considered that the people of Kenya did not intend to vest or concentrate such sweeping and boundless powers in one individual, the chairperson of the appellant. The emphasis is that the commission's chairperson has conducted the election as though he is the national returning officer, a non-existent role, and his role in declaring results that were not approved by plenary by all seven commissioners renders the results unconstitutional to the extent that this is his own results as opposed to those of IEBC. In keeping to Article 138.2 of the Constitution, there is no national presidential election in Kenya, but rather the presidential election is held in each constituency. Point number four, that in contrary to the constitution and legislation, by the time the chairman declared and announced the final results, results from certain constituencies had not been announced. This is our statement. We promised you a comprehensive statement. So here we are and we are going to give it out to the media. Thank you. At what point did you realize that uh, there was a fake news? you have the opinion? Yes. Can we take one by one so that... Uh, so can we, can we deal with just two questions for the moment, please? Yes. Yeah. Let me answer the, at what point did we realize the awkwardness? As I said yesterday, we have conducted the election and we did it to the best. We have improved in the processes as IEBC. We have upped the bar. We have considered all the stages and processes that are supposed to be taken care of. But come to the last phase, the Tallinn phase. As I said yesterday, that at the end, that there was opaqueness. Things were not being shown to the public. You've been there, even at Bomas. And the screens are supposed to show cumulative numbers of the presidential candidates' votes as they garnered as we continued to read the results, isn't it? The same was not displayed to the public, and the same was not given to the commissioners. Just like the public was not aware, the same, the commissioners were not aware of the cumulative results as the day goes by so two days to the end it was not given out so you could not clearly say that we have tallied 10 million and this 10 million this is how it is distributed we have tallied 15 we have tallied 12 million how is it distributed the public needed to know yes, progressively the same the commissioners didn't know yes so, what, what, what was your question my question was do you have have figures that are different from the ones that were declared by the chairman. Do you have figures? Take it. As a commission, we were not, as a, the vice chair has said, we were not doing the tallying. 
the tallying that was being done by our staff, technical, technical staff, it was not known to the commissioners until the moment around 4.30 when, the, when uh, Mr. Shebukati brought the result tabulated in, a, in, the, in the format. And uh, he did not give us an opportunity to discuss the results. He just said, these are the results of each particular candidate. They have scored this and they have met the constitutional threshold. And therefore, he is going to read the results. And he did not allow us to discuss to see whether there were any disparities. So as a commissioners, we did not have other results. Those are the results that we were supposed to have discussed before they are declared in accordance with the legal requirement. So we don't have, and we didn't have, because we do not, we are not doing any other results. It is those ones that he was doing. That is simple. So you believe that there would have been a difference from the forms 34B that had been uploaded and ones that Kenyans had already tabulated through the processes we, we, and the final results? We have given you the statement and the statement has indicated 100.1%. The rest is for you to decide. We will give you the statement to go and look at it. We do not know the actual numbers, but even if you looked at the screen, we s before the results were announced by Mr. Chebukati, there was requirement where they were required to announce constituencies that have not been announced. There were about 20 or selected 20, between 20 and 30. We know that because uh, Professor Gurie was carrying the files to go and announce those results before Mr. Chebukati announces the presidential results. Oh, okay, so, sorry, can, can, can we hear your question? No, but come on, just one question. One question. No, 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 uh, we have given her. Uh, we have told you that thing. Let me tell you. We, 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 we are going to take question. Let me, let me answer. We have, asked, we have said very, very clearly, and I want you to listen, that the final tiring of the results was not brought to the attention of the commission, so I will not be able to answer that question. It's only Mr. Chebukati who can answer that question for you. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me tell you, we have said what was announced we are not taking ownership because it was not brought to our attention to look at them, analyze, analyze them, process them as, is, as it is required, even in the legislation. So I will not be able to answer that. My question is, you say you do not know the numbers. And you are not involved in counting, but you are talking the process of announcing the same Someone asked, then what was your goal? Let me answer. You want to pick it? Okay. Let, let, me, let me ask. Let me explain this. We led, we announced the results from several constituencies, all of us, and all the members of the commission. And once that is done, it was going to the back end. What we are saying is that that back end was the privacy of Shebukati, not the rest of the commissioners. And uh, it would be, have required for him to bring that back end analysis to the plenary to discuss and look at the results and the evidence and see what has been done at the back end. That is very simple. So if you want to ask about that back end, then you can uh, check with Mr. Chipkati. But, but, but let, me, let me expand on that, please. Uh, the issue that uh, we have, and I want to make this very clear, with the process is the involvement of commissioners in uh, making a decision that this is the final product that we are giving to the people of Kenya. If that is not uh, determined by the commissioners, 
then it remains the duty and the role and the responsibility of only one person. And that is the issue that we had in the boardroom where these are the final results. That's what he told us. And then we asked, how about some of the issues that the political parties had raised? And he said that, I will deal with that. And they never dealt with that. These issues that political parties were raising from the floor of the telling center were important and needed not to have been disregarded. Now, these are the issues that we were answering. Where then did those issues go in the context of the final tally of the result that you are going to mention? This is our problem. Well, uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, 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 that. And also, as you oh, okay, that, okay. Let me doesn't say. the mandate doesn't the mandate to declare the presidential election rest with the chairperson of the committee of the of the commission? Yes, Just like he did. Yes, the mandate to declare hmm? it's it. The mandate the mandate to declare is in the. Uh, in the role of the chair of the commission, yes, but before they are declared, they are processed and we are saying that we did not process and that's why they come out with glaring mistakes and we don't take ownership of the same. Thank you. Those are options. No, that's okay. Okay, so, okay, Swahili. Okay, Kiswahili. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, wacha tu niseme tu wacha tu niseme tu ile hoja moja kwamba uh, katika ile tarakimu ambazo zimetolewa uh, yale mahesabu hayaingiani ni vipi unaweza kusema umepata asilimia moja nukta sufuri moja sote tulienda shule na tukiangalia nukta sufuri moja ukiangalia katika valid votes hiyo ni kura elfu mia moja arubaini hizo kura tukiangalia jinsi mchakato umeendelea ni kura nyingi sana ambazo zinaweza kuleta tofauti sasa sasa sisi tumesema yale makosa kama hayo hatukuhusishwa kwa hivyo Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.